One of the most common questions that I get asked on this channel is Sam, what exactly did you need to do to go from zero pounds in revenue in your e-commerce business to over a million pounds in revenue? And sometimes I have to think back to myself, what exactly did I have to do? How exactly did I need to think for me to accomplish that? So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is going through this timeline right here, breaking down the five mindset shifts that I needed to go through for me to go from zero to one million pounds in revenue. So whether you wanna go from zero to 10,000 pounds in revenue or whether you want to go from 10,000 to 30,000 pound in revenue, whatever you're trying to do, this timeline is definitely going to help you out and give you a better understanding of how you need to think and what you need to do for you to accomplish your goals when building your e-commerce business. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks to help you make money online. In this video, I'm going to be going through what I needed to know and what I needed to do for me to accomplish my goals when building my e-commerce business. It's going to be five simple mindset shifts that you can apply to your own life from today. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so that you don't miss anything. As always, I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get right into the video. If you find any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well so that you don't miss the future videos. Let's jump straight into it. Alright, so the first step that I needed to take when I was a beginner looking to build my e-commerce business is that I needed to research, research and then research again. And during this stage, what I basically needed to do was figure out exactly what strategy I was going to take when building up my e-commerce business. Now, there's so many different ways and so many different methods when it comes to starting an e-commerce business and there's so many different platforms too. You can either start on eBay, Amazon, Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce. There's so many ways and so many different types of platforms that you can use when starting your e-commerce business. Business. Now the initial way that I built my e-commerce brand was by starting off on eBay and the main reason why I did this is because I was used to the platform and not only that I saw that there was a lot of successful sellers that were able to start a business in their kitchen and take it to one million pounds every single month. So in the early days this inspired me to get my eBay store up and running but during this step here where I needed to do a lot of research not only did I need to figure out what platform I was going to sell on I also needed to figure out what strategy I was going to take as well as what type of seller I was going to be. Like for example when it comes to selling stuff on eBay there's various different ways that you could do it you can either be a drop shipper you can either go thrift shopping in charity shops and find clothes and then resell them on your eBay store you can either do retail arbitrage where you go to retail stores find items that are on sale and then sell them on your eBay store or you could do online arbitrage as well there's so many different methods when it comes to sourcing products and there's so many different types of sellers when it comes to building up your eBay business so the method that I went with was by importing products from China and then shipping them out one by one myself because I know it's from the day that I was looking at majority of the sellers that were selling on eBay at the time were seeing a lot of success by doing it this way and it wasn't just because all of these different sellers were seeing a lot of success but it was also because I knew that this type of business model in terms of importing products and then selling it one by one was going to be more of a sustainable business to build over the long term because I was going to be able to order the stock again and again whenever I ran out of stock however when it came to doing thrift shopping or doing retail arbitrage I wasn't necessarily going to be able to go to the shop and buy the same item again and I wanted to build my eBay business on a foundation of products that I knew that I was going to be able to reorder on a consistent basis again and again and again. Straight after that I now had to start the process and the reason why I thought this was important for me to put this on the timeline is because so many people contact me and say that they want to start this business or they want to start that business but they don't necessarily take any action towards it and one of the things that I realized in the early days of me starting my own e-commerce business is that I needed to take some form of action because if I didn't take any action at all nothing was going to happen. It's all great doing all the research in the world figuring out exactly what you should do and what you shouldn't do but if you don't implement all the research that you're doing then it's going to be a waste of time so one of the things that really helped me start my journey was by starting the process and this is one thing that I want to emphasize to anyone out there that's watching this video if you're currently doing research and you've been doing research now for the past month two months three months or even over a year it's time to take some form of action and for me when I first started the action that I took was by investing money into stock so what I did is that I took part of my savings and I used that to invest into some inventory back then it wasn't necessarily an easy thing for me to just buy stock just like that because I hadn't built up the confidence to know that I was actually going to be able to sell the stock and I didn't necessarily have a lot of money at the time too but at the same time I also knew that for me to move forward and start going after my goals when it came to building an e-commerce business I needed to invest in stock so that I could list those products on my eBay store and start making sales. For anyone out there that's watching this video that has a goal and a dream it doesn't even need to be to start an e-commerce business it could be anything. If you haven't already taken the first step to accomplishing your goal you already know within yourself what you need to do for me that was investing into stock but for you it might be something completely different so try and figure out what you need to do to start the whole process so that you can slowly start moving towards accomplishing whatever 
goal you have. So moving on to the third thing that I needed to do once I started the process is that I needed to clarify my goal. And when I say clarify my goal, I'm talking about the big picture of what I was trying to do with my e-commerce business. Because it's one thing to just start, but at the same time, you need to understand what you're trying to do, what type of business are you trying to build? Because if you don't have a clear idea of what type of business you're trying to build over the long term, you're not necessarily going to be able to set the right objectives. So for me, I needed to figure out what type of business I wanted to build. And the way that I did that was by looking at a lot of the competitors that were bigger than me, a lot of the companies that I looked up to. And by looking at all of these different companies, it kind of gave me a clear idea of what type of company I wanted to build. And it also gave me a clear idea of what type of products I needed to add to my stores, as well as what type of systems I needed to build within my actual business. Because I had a bigger business to look up to, it just kind of made the whole process a little bit more easier. Like for example, if we look at someone like Steve Jobs, before he created Apple, he was looking up to companies like Intel and I believe he was also looking up to Microsoft. I can't really remember, but I'm sure that he was looking up to a bigger company that gave him the inspiration to continue pursuing his own business. And that's what I did at this point here. I needed to clarify my goal in terms of my long-term vision as to where I was trying to take my e-commerce business. So what I started doing at this point is that I started branding my store. I started giving it a better identity so that customers knew exactly what type of products I was specializing in, what type of category I was focused on selling in. And by doing that, I was now able to build up a customer base. And because I was inspired by a lot of the competitors that were ahead of me, I now started to branch out and sell on places like Amazon and build my own website on Shopify because I saw that this is what they were doing too. And by having a clear direction of where I was trying to take my business, it just kind of made the whole process a little bit more easier. And it allowed me to go from making around 5,000 pounds per month to over 10,000 pounds per month. And then eventually I was able to scale my e-commerce business in general to over 30,000 pounds per month. And that wouldn't have been possible if I didn't have a clear idea and a clear picture of what type of e-commerce business I was trying to build over the long term. So moving on to the fourth stage of me growing my business from zero to over 1 million pounds in revenue is that I needed to be persistent. So the definition of persistence is to continue the course of action in spite of any difficulty. When trying to build any online business, you're always gonna come into contact with some sort of obstacle or some sort of difficulty, but it's your job as the business owner and it's your job as the entrepreneur to keep going. And when looking back at my own journey, this is definitely a mindset that I needed to have because there were so many different obstacles along the way. Like for example, the first time I sent money to China, I actually got scammed when I was trying to buy products. Another obstacle that I had is that eBay banned one of my accounts when I first started selling. And then I had to figure out a way for me to open up a brand new eBay account. All of these different issues that I came into contact with when I first started didn't necessarily stop on my journey. Even till now, I'm always going through various different obstacles. But one thing that I know for certain is that entrepreneurs basically get paid to solve problems. Every so often, I'm always dealing with some sort of issue, but I know that persistence is gonna allow me to get to whatever goal I'm trying to get to. And moving on to one of the final things that I needed to learn whilst trying to build my e-commerce business is that I needed to repeat the process. So once I figured out what worked, once I figured out how to get my my first sell, I needed to replicate that process again and again. Like for example, the minute I made my first sell with a product that I imported from China, all I simply did is use the same method of finding a winning product that allowed me to make that sell in the first place, find multiple different winning products, list them on my eBay store, and do the same thing over and over again that allowed me to get that first initial sell. And it goes the same way when I made my first £10,000 in revenue. For me to have gotten to £20,000 in revenue per month, I needed to replicate the same process again and again and again. Now, of course, on your journey you're going to pivot now and then but you need to find what works find a strategy that works with you and then repeat the process over and over again and essentially that strategy was basically me finding a winning product listing it using a custom listing template making sure that i've branded my store and i've structured my listing in the best possible way and then doing that same process every single month by adding more winning products at least five to 10 winning products to my store every single month. Now, of course, everything I went through in this video was just the basics of what you need to know when it comes to starting your e-commerce business. There's a lot more that goes into it. And I made a video not too long ago where I broke down five steps that you need to take when starting your e-commerce business this year. I'm gonna leave that video right there. Make sure you watch that video after this video because if you enjoyed this video, then you're definitely going to enjoy that one. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification. I've got more videos just like this that's gonna educate you and motivate you when it comes to starting your own online business and you don't want to miss them. But in the meantime, if you want to sign up to a webinar where I break down my story of what I needed to do when it came to starting my own eBay business from scratch, I'm going to leave that in the description down below. It's going to be the first link. You can check that out after this video. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.